Hey everybody and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host Scott Ramph. And I'm also your host Noel McVoy. That yep. was Asaf Adonai on piano. Uh, Asaf, what song is that? That's the theme to the Grinch Stole Christmas. Nice. Yep. So we Asaf have a... is feeling Grinchy today. Yeah. No, the reason I'm doing that is because today is um, Theodore Geist's birthday. Oh, cool. Ooh. Dr. Seuss. Oh, Dr. He's Seuss' birthday. He's known to the world as Dr. Seuss. His real name was Theodore Geist, and today would be his 112th birthday. Wow. wow. Cool. Nice. So Happy today birthday. we have a lot of stuff going on today. Um, we have events with Noel. I have some art clips that are ending t um, tomorrow, which by means that they're going to be changing the art galleries at the university. Mm -hmm. um, so we have two different art clips, but both have the kill date of March 3rd. So you still have until tomorrow to watch them. I'll show a little bit of teases of that. Uh, we have two guests on for today. They're talking about Odyssey of the Stars. Um, and of course, ASAP has musical notes where he's talking about one of the more famous television uh, cooks around. The queen of cooking, the yes. queen of cooking. Also, you guys, today, well, yesterday, it marks two years for Wake Up Missoula. So, Scott and I have been doing Wake Up Missoula for two years. Yes. Uh, we lost our third host a yes. year ago, but added an ASAP. So... <laughs> I like no, to call it kinda. like maybe it was like a uh, Bismarck cancer. Bismarck cancer. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We used to have a third host. He took off about a year ago, but we also added ASAP in yep. a year ago. <laughs> so it's kind of you know transitions. But um, I was watching an episode of our very first show, and it was so awkward. It was terrible. So bad. It so bad. Really our bad mics thing. were up like this, <laughs> and they looked like really scary monsters. Like ah. Well, and you know, uh, of course. Which um, is awkward. Oh, God. Didn't know what to say. Like, <laughs> And Joel made an uh, inappropriate comment about yeah. the mics, too. And then Joel like, made okay, settle down. Suggestive comments about our mics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we changed our mics. Yes. Um, now we're, you know, a little now more. Now they're going down and under instead of up and above. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to thank all of our viewers and everyone that stuck around with us over the past two years. Thanks for watching. We love what we do. Um, and yeah, I yep. love. And yep. of course, oh, the nice thing about our show is that we're not only on our channel 189 on MCAT through Charter Communications. We also put everything online on mm -hmm. our website. If you go to our website, wickamazoola.wix.com slash wickamazoola, you can find us there. You can see videos, <laughs> past videos um, with uh, interviews and more. Yeah. Cre creative um, content that we've made throughout the year um, through after school programs and beyond. Yep. And of course, uh, we have our Facebook page where you should totally like us. You can follow us on Twitter. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter. You can also like MCAT on Facebook. And to find out more information about us, check us out on MCAT.org. And of course, one week from today is our um, orientation. So you guys can um, be a part of MCAT where you could use MCAT's facilities um, for your own television medium and creative outlook using um, visual media as oh, yeah. in videos and Pictures, um, content and, like and of course if you don't know how to thing. use it we'll teach you how to edit shoot and um, yeah make, make your, your own, own content show. Yeah. yeah for our channel 189 our channel. and channel 190 and we also are pretty savvy on YouTube so you can definitely um, find more about more on YouTube, like mm -hmm. annotations. Ah, oh, yeah, yes. annotations. Oh, those crazy annotations. Yes. But of course, uh, <laughs> the weather is looking fairly uh, wet throughout the week. But of course, um, it'll break this Friday. So just bear with us the next two days because it's going to be um, scattered showers and snow. But of course, your high is going to be into the 40s. Um, uh, 46 degrees today is going to be your peak today. Your low is 31 degrees. Of course, it did feel a little colder this morning. But of course, it is currently 35 degrees degrees outside. Thursday your highs going to be 49 and your lows going to be 30, but of course Friday, you can Friday and Saturday you can expect your highs to be in the 50s. Oh. And of course we're uh, uh, I think we're about a week or two away from um, leap. Um, oh, no, no, no. not leap putting day, our clocks but, uh, forward. Yeah, spring it's forward. Uh, spring forward. Yep. Yes. Yeah, 13th, 13th. You guys all got to turn your clocks yes. forward. Daylight Which savings means... time cuz yes. every time it was like, oh, it's daylight savings time. Was, does that does that mean we go forward or back? It's just like just remember spring, spring forward, forward fall, fall back. back. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, yeah. So you guys, um, I do have some snow report for you guys. Oh. So, you know, it's uh, it's been kind of raining. It's been snowing up in the mountains. So this is what I've got. So up at Whitefish, they got four inches of new snow in the past 24 hours, and they got nine inches of new snow in the past 72 hours. Blacktail got three inches of new snow, uh, and four inches of new snow in the past 72 hours. Uh, let's see, Snowball got zero inches of new snow, and Lost Trail got zero, and Discovery got zero. So it looks wow. like if you want to go find the fresh powder, you're going to have to head up to Whitefish or Blacktail. Cool. Yeah. 
So the snow in the north, and it's all getting dried up in the south, it unfortunately. Yeah. But of course, you know, uh, you can always expect to find snow up in Glacier. Yeah, <laughs> there's always all snow year round. That people um, <laughs> basically trek, have their skis on their shoulder, and in they like just June. hike. They literally yeah. people. I know people who like literally hike, and then they See, just like, go. That just doesn't sound fun to me. I feel bad for like you know. I'm just not as extreme. Are you extreme, Scott? Well, if I had like, access to a helicopter, yeah, I'd just jump right? out of a helicopter and just, yeah. you know. Let's it, do that. Yeah, those are people who are just don't want to hike up the mountain no. themselves. Like, like climbing Mount Everest sounds like not my idea of fun. Well, it's, it's like mostly awful. touristy now. Yeah, it is all touristy. And they have all those like empty tanks. It's well, like yeah, littered and stuff. Yeah, I was about to say is that there are like bodies up there. <laughs> tanks what? of oxygen, there are bodies up there. Oh. People die, yeah. And then they're like tanks of oxygen, all this stuff on Mount Everest. I think more people die in the bitter here in Montana than up in Mount Everest. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> We're just as dangerous yeah. as Mount Everest. All right, let's not talk so morbid. Okay. But of course, we do have an art clip, and when we come back, we're going to bring out um, our guests, Jeffrey yeah. and Stephen from. Um, they're talking about Odyssey of the yes. Stars, and they're talking about George Gogus. So we'll hear all about who he is in a few minutes. Hey, we're here with uh, George and um, no, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, Steven. <laughs> Sorry, because you represent <laughs> George. the George. Mm. The George. Okay. The George. the George. So, first of all, I want to know what is Odyssey of the Stars. Well, Odyssey of the Stars is our annual scholarship event for the College of Visual and Performing Arts, and it's really a celebration of the the past, the present, and the future. We. Uh, we honor one of our great alums this year, George Gogus, fantastic painter and um, educator as well. Uh, uh, but we also have uh, an evening that's full of performances and exhibitions by our current students and faculty. And then uh, we use the proceeds for scholarships for students and the awesome. be coming to the university. So that's what great. can people expect to see at this performance this Saturday? Well, they're gonna see a lot of great things. They're gonna see uh, live musical performances, they're going to see some acting, they're going to see dance, they're going to see films uh, specifically made of our art students and their work and uh, media art students, so a lot of great stuff. And so tell us what George Gogus has to do with all this and who he is. Well, George is a, a, an alum of the University of Montana and uh, in the past, he taught in Missoula County High Schools for, I think, close to 30 years. And mm -hmm. as he got close to retirement, he started exploring his own art. And uh, he's really what I would call one of the most original contemporary, pop, what I would call pop Western artists oh. in, in the United States. Sort of bringing modern and old themes together. Um, the the uh, Judith Basin Encounter series is is based on the idea that Charlie Russell met Pablo Picasso, so it's a blend of Western with modernism and Cubism, 
And then this one that we have up right now is um, Too Lazy to Work, which is from a poem about a cowboy that was too lazy to work, so he chose to ride bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good trade-off, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I saw you guys, as, uh, I saw the Odyssey of the Stars last year, and you guys had a, like an on-stage type performance. Is that kind of what we're expecting this year? Oh, yeah. There'll be, uh, let's see, we'll have... Uh, a group of percussionists, student percussionists performing. We'll have flute players. We'll have pianists, but not doing what pianists traditionally do with the piano. We'll have uh, uh, singers. We'll have the, the orchestra, symphonic wind ensemble. So we have a lot of that. And then we have dancers, wonderful dancers. We'll have um, some actors. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you guys are usually tease a bunch of your other performances that are coming up as well. We've done that as well. Mm -hmm. And so why does George Gogas, why is he the recipient of the award this year? Well, we try to honor uh, alums who have really gone out into the world and can inspire our current students. Uh, but we also want to honor the fact that we have great programs. We've had great professors and we've had uh, great programs for many, many years at the university. And George Gogas is in, uh, has uh, internationally renowned. And actually, if you go around the city of Missoula, you can go into to banks, doctors' offices, dentists' offices. You can go, uh, even in the Denison Theater, we have two George Agoguses hanging on the wall. So um, his work, uh, yeah, even if people don't know who George Gogas is, they may know his work already. Yeah. Yeah, and you said you curated a show in China, right? Yeah, he was in a show in China and in Ireland. And uh, he, he was one of the most popular museum shows ever booked by the Montana Museum Association. He's in uh, major collections like at the Cody in, in Wyoming and Yellowstone and Missoula Art Museum at the MAC at the university. So it's not just the, the commercial sales or the commercial stuff that he's done. It's, he's been really popular in the museum world as well. So. And, and concurrently, there's a an exhibition opening this Thursday of his work at the Malloy Gallery as part of the Montana Museum of Art and Culture. So that will be running for about a month as well after. Where is the Malloy Gallery? That's in the Ma, uh, the PARTV building okay. uh, on the campus right. of University of Montana. Mm -hmm. It's right in the corner right next to the box office? Exactly. Cool. And people should really get to see it because it's going to be a, a really nice sort of retrospective of George's work over the last probably 30 years. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. He's got beautiful stuff. I yeah. don't think I've ever seen his work before, but it's awesome. Now yeah. I'm going to start looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> <Wonderful>. <laughs> and so um, tell us when and where the event is on Saturday. So the event is at the Denison Theater on Saturday, March 5th at 7.30 p.m. And uh, we hope then there'll be tickets that are sold at the door. How much well are tickets? Tickets are $30 and you can buy them uh, at the box office. Um, you can also go online, Grizz Ticks, or come to our box office between 10 and 6 in the PA or TV. Great, right. awesome. And Is there anything else? Well, remember, the, the price of the ticket includes money going to scholarships for the next generation of artists coming out of the University yeah. of Montana. Yeah. And, it's, and it's definitely important because the Gallery of the Visual Art uh, I mean, the, not the Gallery of the Visual Arts, but the uh, Fine Arts and Performance and mm -hmm. all that stuff. It, it's basically what University of Montana is basically founded on it. It's like yeah. all Fine Arts College. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a great, uh, we have a great tradition of the arts at the university and uh, we're pretty proud of that. Yeah, we'd so like to keep it that way. Well, yeah. Yeah. it's a great way to be entertained and support the university at the same time. Right? That's awesome. Well, thanks you guys very you much. Bet. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. Birthdays come and go, each year adding up to a lifetime full of extraordinary moments. At Missoula Aging Services, we promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults. We are ready to help connect seniors to the help they need. Knowing you've got friends to support you, each birthday can be special. See how we can help. Call 728-7682 or log on to MissoulaAgingServices.org. I'm Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. For the last 30 years, the Montana Hope Project has been granting wishes to Montana children who face life-threatening illnesses. I'm Montana Hope. To make a donation and help their wishes come true, please visit MontanaHope.org. We are Montana Hope! Your smartphone can help. 
Hey you guys, we're back. I've got some events going on for you for Wednesday. So it is the middle of the week, uh, TGIW. <laughs> you guys, that was hilarious. I hope you all laughed. Okay, so starting at 9.30 a.m. over at Ms. Moan Gymnastics Day, uh, I've got a bunch of kid things and a bunch of educational things going on today. So family fun time is at Ms. Moan Gymnastics at 9.30. This is an open gym for ages walking to 12 years, and they just have, you know, all the crazy things you could want at a gym. Uh, and then we've got preschool play group over at Roots Acro Sports Center at 11. This is an open gym for ages walking to five years. And they set up different activities and stations around the gym. And then parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. It's $8 to drop in and $12 for siblings. Rice tables at the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11. You can scoop, pour, and sift through their colorful sensory rice. Uh, over Spectrum Discovery area, there's Science Sprout. They're talking about germs. This is for the little kids. That's from two to five. And then um, also at Spectrum Discovery area for their older crowd from, I think it's like five and older, you know, children that can, that can understand this a little more, I guess. Uh, so their Discovery Bench is Engineering and the Brain Lab is Brains. Uh, at the Children's Museum of Missoula at noon, they're having a discussion. It's called Parent Parenting the Positive Discipline Way. And so it, it's pretty much like it says. It's, it's learning how to parent um, and how to discipline in a good reinforcing way that doesn't make your child feel bad about themselves. Which, that sounds so hard. I don't even know. So it costs us 50 bucks. Uh, you can call 721-7690 to register. At Natural Grocers at noon, they have a nutritional yeast feast. So you are going to learn how you can add yeast, nutritional yeast, into three delicious recipes. So they're going to be making, let's see, a kale salad, mac and cheese, and a tofu scramble. Over at Peaceful Heart Yoga, they've got parent yoga. This is yoga for you while your kids play. Uh, it starts at 1 p.m. So you pretty much, you can do yoga while your kids play in the same room. So if you don't have any childcare or don't have anyone to watch them or just really want to go to a yoga class, bring your kids along, no problem. At the Missoula Public Library, they've got a couple events as always. They always have great things going on. Uh, they've got their open hours in the makerspace. This is from two to six. You can learn how to use the equipment or work on a project of your choice. And then at 3.30, uh, they've got their middle school writers. This is for a writing group for grades six through nine. And it's, it's just for them to like get some feedback, give feedback, play with words, eat some chocolate, hang out. It's a good place for them to go after school and you know stay out of trouble. Uh, over at the Rocky Mountain School of Photography at 6 p.m., they've got a, a, a class. They're teaching a three-part class on Adobe Lightroom, and this is called The Next Step. So it's more of an advanced course, um, and it's for people that already know, uh, know how to get your images in Lightroom and already know about Lightroom. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so he will teach you some more tablet elaborate tips for editing your images. Yeah, it's a three-part session. Uh, call 543-0171 for more information. At the Missoula Public Library, they've got a jewelry making workshop. Uh, this is usually in their usually in their maker space, and it's from six to seven. So it's right after their electronics exploration. And then, as our as always, our weekly series lately is the Global Public Health Lecture Series. This is in the Gallagher Business Building, room 123 at 630. Uh, the Global Public Health Lecture Series usually features prominent doctors and uh, people that are in the health industry from around the state and around, let's see, is it around the world? It might be around the world. No, from around the state. Yeah. Um, who and other people that know what they're talking about and who have worked in low-income countries, low-income countries in the realm of health. So I'll talk about that. At the university in the UM Recital Hall, they've got Irish music and song. Um, so that starts at 7. So it's going to be an Irish music, Irish music and song with singer, piper, and accord accordionist. Ooh, cool. That sounds awesome. Uh, so Jazz Night with Trudia Noir is at Top Hat Lounge at 7. And then also at 7 over at the Sunrise, we've got Country Dance Lessons with instructor Kathy Clark. Uh, five bucks per lesson, and she will teach you how to swing around that floor. Karaoke contest is at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30. Karaoke at the Band Learn at 9. Milk Crate Wednesday at the Palace at 9, which is electronic. Um, and then at Karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon at 9. So that's what's going on on Wednesday for your events. Up next, we've got Asaph. Well, you know, today, March 3rd, is the first day of my series of new stories that I'm going to be doing on 
musical notes at ASAF. And who knows, maybe a year from now, I'll be able to do another top 10. So we'll see. But to start this off, my first story, in 1962, an appearance on a book review show on the National Educational Television, NET station in Boston, known as WGHB. This led to the inception of our guest first television show, her first television cooking show, after reviewers um, enjoyed her demonstration of how to make an omelet. Pretty cool beginning. And of course, we're talking about, hold on, I'll get all my notes here. We're talking about Julia Carolyn McWilliams, known to the world as Julia Child. Julia Child was an American chef, author, television personality, recognized for bringing French cuisine to the American public in her debut cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, and her subsequent television programs, plural, and most notable was the French Chef, which premiered in 1963, and we see her carrying a knife. <laughs> Norman Bates. Ee, ee, ee. No, really, she. This call that a knife? No, <laughs> that's a knife. Remember Paul Hogan? Yeah. Anyway, um, she is credited with um, being the queen of the culinary world, and we're gonna show a little clip of her as soon as this gets set up, and then I'll talk a little bit more about her. Welcome to the French Chef. I'm Julia Child. Whenever you do French onion soup, you just need an awful lot of onions. And if you're going to have an awful lot of sliced onions, you've got to have a good sharp knife. And the kind of knife that is used by most professionals for chopping is wedge-shaped. And it's so this lady shape. here, this she's demonstrating the knife. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I don't know how much of this clip we'll get to see, but in this clip she rubs two knives together, saying that when you do that, your knives are dull in the cooking world, because usually chefs are known for scraping their knives together, and she didn't agree with that, that concept of doing that. But anyway, um, she's demonstrating how to make French onion soup, and she was uh, famous for doing that, introducing French cuisines of all types to the American public. And she stands at 6'2", so her kitchen was custom made because of her height. Wow. And it sits on display in Washington, D.C. now these days. Anyway, um, Julia Child, she played tennis, golf, basketball when she was growing up. And she attended Smith College, and she graduated in 1934 with a major in English. She spent time uh, in the military for um, the Office of Strategic Services, OSS, and because of her height, she was unable to get into the Women's Army Corps and the U.S. Navy's waves. So they used her as far as her typing skills hmm. that they could put her in and hmm. her knowledge of, you know, before she got into culinary stuff, they used her mm -hmm. in the armed forces. And um, she went on to create that television show. Now, her mastering of the art of French cooking is a 720-page book, and it was a bestseller. It received critical acclaim, and she also won, um, her show won a Peabody Award and Emmy Awards, and it ran for 10 years successfully. Wow. This cooking show. And there she is with Martha Stewart. And we know Martha Stewart's a great chef in her own right, but uh, <laughs> she's got to take a back seat to Julia Child. <laughs> and also, Julia Child isn't a felon, so. Well, There's yeah, that. I wasn't going <laughs> to go that. there, but. Um, <laughs> I'll go there for you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, before I conclude this, Julia Child just left the world some great stuff. And this is interesting, too. In 1972, her um, program was the first program to have the caption for the deaf. And I think that's a wonderful thing that she did in her cooking programs. So, you know, your, um, your guests can look her up and find out more about her. And finally, in 1971 also, she had volume two of her book, Mastering the Art of French Cooking. Yes. And of course, I'm, I love onion soup. So if she were here with us, she could make me onion soup any time. <laughs> we lost her yeah. in um, 2004 at the age of 91. So wow. this woman spent her entire life 
cooking, and she was like the first cooking woman yeah. on TV. Very first one. That's yep. correct. She's that's the awesome. queen. Because yeah, if I, you like see a, a male cooking person, and it's for daytime TV, a lot of the women who would be at home would be not uh, making the meals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If they would watch a man making food, they're most of the time they're just like, that's not right. It's like men don't know a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but this lady set the standard in uh, the world of culinary, and uh, she just had a fun life. And I've seen her show, you know, off and on over the years, where she would introduce all these different mm -hmm. uh, fancy dishes instead of French onion soup, but uh, that fits in the category. Yeah. So oh, I love French onion soup too. It's my I favorite. do too, and I'm sure so hers good. was better than in the restaurant. I bet it's better than all of them. Yeah, well, so. she, she has a very interesting take because if you ever watch her, it seems like there's a, some kind of inside joke, which yeah. is why she's always like kind of giggly and bubbly personality. But it always seems like if you listen closely, you kind of see feel as though that she has like some kind of inside joke. <laughs> like with her she, yeah. History points her as a kind person, and she was probably a very kind soul. I can't so, believe she was 6'2". Yeah, she wow. was. That's wow. why they had trouble placing her in a, during World War <laughs> yeah, II. Yeah, how sexist is that? Well, <laughs> well it, they were like back in the day, in like, I mean, like especially now, it's just like you have to be a minimum of like 5'11 to be a model. No, <laughs> yeah, at, at the minimum. No, uh, It's 5'9". They, they lowered it. For of course, runway, it, it differs. Yeah. Like uh -huh. if you're from like runway to lingerie to catalog, there are all these different kind of models you can be. Yes. So if you're doing high fashion and runway, you have to be like 5'9 or 5'10". Yeah. Yeah. But if you're doing like lingerie or you're doing editorial or anything like that, you, your size. It doesn't really matter. Be, they yeah. they have Photoshop and all that. Stuff. Yeah. Well, I think well, she was better off just doing the cooking for her. You know. Yeah, yep. I think so too. <laughs> so that's my tribute to Julia Child. Nice. That makes me want to cook and eat. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Asa. Sure. Uh, we've got an art clip that we're going to show you guys, and then I'll be right back with events. Do 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 do. And you can see all those um, art at the Fine Arts Building, which is actually the Denison Theater. But if you go around the corner, just go up through the main doors of the Fine Arts Department. And you can find all that art and more because it's pretty much spread out through all the Fine Arts Building. And of course, the last two art clips we have shown you guys will be ending and will be replaced um, tomorrow. Yep. I mean, I don't think it will be replaced. I think most of the stuff will be taken down and tomorrow will be your last chance. Yep. Unless they procrastinate. Well, because and then Friday is first Friday, so we'll have a whole bunch of new artwork all over town. Yep. So, so our very own Rick Phillips will um, give us some more mm -hmm. art clips from these places um, sometime in the future this month or later because yeah. usually it lasts a month or two um, from what um, um, uh, Stephen Stephen um, Calm said. Yep. He He's said the that dean of the College of Visual Arts and Performing Arts. And so of course they're going to have um, um, what? Oh man, Steve. Uh, oh, oh blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to. Oh, George, George Gogus, Gogus. His and then, art. Yep, they're gonna have his art, and then Jeffrey Sutton, who is here. He is representative of George Gogus's artwork. Yep. So that's he knows George a lot. But I was a little disappointed George wasn't here himself. Uh, I was like, oh, why? Why isn't he here? Okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> whatever, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> but um, I've got some stuff going on for you tomorrow. So this is what's happening in your community on Thursday. Okay, so starting at 10 a.m., 
Um, one thing that I've noticed about this and another class is there have been a lot of a lot of mindful and meditation classes going on in Missoula, which I think is just a <laughs> yeah, like a game spilling. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, man, full meditation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so starting at 10 a.m. over at the Sacred Roots Healing Arts Studio, they've got a mindful movement and meditation class starting at 10 a.m. So this is pretty much just helping you be aware of your surroundings and of yourself as well of as meditation and, you know, just getting yourself aligned. Uh, so that's 1015 to 1130. Classes are donation-based, and you are asked to bring your own mats and props such as uh, blankets and blocks. Um, over, so uh, at also at 10 a.m., we've got our NAMI Missoula Weekly Meeting, which NAMI stands for National Alliance on Mental Illness. I know I've said it for years, but I've never really said what it means. Um, so that's what it means. So that's what it stands for. So they're having their weekly meeting at the Providence Center at 10 a.m. is for anyone affected by mental illness or learning in or interested in learning about the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Uh, they've got a website. Go to www.namimt.org. Tiny Tales is at the Public Library at 10.30. This is for babies ages birth through three years. They sing songs, they hear stories, they learn finger plays and nursery rhymes. Over at Spectrum, uh, their Discovery Bench is Properties of Water. The Brain Lab is Savvy Smells. It starts at 11. At the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11, they've got Wizard's Brew. So you can go on down there and see how those cool bubbles change and find out what Wizard's Brew is. And then, of course, uh, be sure to check out uh, Witch's Brew, which is the offset of Wizard's Brew, which is <laughs> better. <laughs> Witch's Brew is way better. Uh, hopefully, Julia Childs has a video on that. Yep, affirmative action. <laughs> 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 okay, and you guys, our homeboy, Rob P. Yes. Is the Public Library. Watercolor. 12. Love Rob so in P. There. Yeah. He's, he, we have decided that he is with the uh, Witness Protection Program. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he does painting it. But you know, you got to understand that though, the best way to be witness protected is hiding in plain sight. Yep. In Montana. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, yo, 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 Benny, yo, 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 Jimmy, Benny, where, where did uh, Georgia go? He sold, he sold us out to the cops. It's like, I don't know. And he, 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 he like moved an apartment across town. It's like, yeah. oh, we don't go across town. That, that that means we have to go to the, take the A train. Yeah, I hate across town. We're no not way. going across town. We're not going to go to A train to, just to kill some guy. No, no way. No way. No, we're too lazy. Yeah. We're tired. Yeah. But Rob P's doing watercolor. Let's go do some watercolor and then kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our scenario of how Rob P came to life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, over uh, at 1.30 at NAMI Missoula, we've got our NAMI Connection Support Group. Uh, this is at 202 Brook Street in room 210, and this is a support group for adults living with mental illness. Mental illness. Uh, we've got electronics exploration at the Missoula Public Library at 3 p.m. from 3 to 6. You can uh, check out their platforms or work on a project of your choice. Uh, and then over at the Missoula Insectarium at 3, they've got Insects vs. Spiders. So it's an Insects vs. Spiders art project, so you can discover the difference between insects and spiders, obviously. Uh, Lego Club is at the Public Library at 3.30, and then we go back across the street to Missoula Insectarium to watch them feed Rosie the Chilean rosehair tarantula at 3.30. Yeah. I gotta check that out one of these days. I know, me too. I really wanna watch. <laughs> I really wanna watch it, yeah. And then we head over <laughs> to uh, La Grada Bella. We've got our downtown drop in wine tasting at five. Cool. Word on the street is that it's twelve fifty. It used to be ten dollars, but it's not twelve fifty. Yeah, because but it probably got so popular. I think it did, yeah. And I often I work at Taco del Sol on, on Thursday nights and I often ha will have people come in from that and they just say like how much fun it was, like how awesome the wine is. So so I'm gonna check that out one day. It's just too. people who hang out and drink wine. I know, it sounds great. Yeah, it, yeah. I love wine. There's not that many places around here that do, do like, that except for First Fridays. Yeah, so. and then you know you can go up to like Ten Spoon and stuff, but that's like out. There. It's out of the way. Yeah, like you can't take you can't even take the A train to that. Yeah, I don't even you know I don't even go across town to see my own sister. No, we're not no. going up to Ten Spoon. I'm not gonna see my sister. I mean, I'm not gonna go to Ten Spoon. <laughs> I'm not gonna see my sister. <laughs> Hope she's not watching. Oh, she doesn't. She's watch. probably not. Yeah. Well, she could be up at this hour because her she has a, like a two year old. Yeah. Yo, girl, we got lots of events for your kid. Yeah. <laughs> so what kind of uh, events that the well, two year? We've got a oh, huh, 
All the events happened earlier today for a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they, they can check out the First Lutheran School's open house yes. if they want to be a Lutheran school. It's true. So First Lutheran Schools has got an open house. Uh, it's being held at the classical school. It's K through 8. They're going to be talking about child care and preschool. It's at 2808 South Avenue West here in Missoula. And that starts at 530 tomorrow night. So basically it teaches your kids to emphasize under God when they say yeah. the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, and not to be a little brat. I don't know. I that don't doesn't. Know. That doesn't. It has matter. nothing to do with the being a little brat. No, it doesn't. Uh, like, no, no, no. <laughs> you can be as religious as possible, and your child can still be a little brat. It's That's all about true. how you raise them. Yeah. It's all about how you raise them. Oh, oh man. Okay, so over at community. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're, I know where we're going with this, I but I think we should just keep going and I just forget so about what we just yeah. said <laughs> that doesn't reflect uh, City of Missoula, MCAT, or Charter Communications, <laughs> which, which is something that we should probably have on all our shows. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, there is no city council today because it was yeah. the fifth Monday yeah. of the month, yeah. which never happens. It's the, It was rare, not only because it was 29 days in February, but also there was a fifth Monday in Whoa. February. So, so that, that's once just, ha that, that happens like once every, like, what, four or five years? What's four times seven? Uh, 24, 24, 28, 28, 28, and that it happens, it's 28 at a 28 to one chance of, of the 29th happening on a Monday. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, this, that's like a one yeah. in a million, that's, that's like one in a million chance that they never do a meeting at the city council. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, it should be relevant to them. Because <laughs> it is to me, because I don't have anything to talk about in terms of city council. But I do have Hallmark or Bullmark. Stay tuned. Yes. Okay, I'll hurry up then. Uh, over at Community Medical Center, they've got Treasure State Toastmasters. This is a workshop set program where people can hone their public speaking skills and their leadership skills. Uh, it starts at 6 p.m. Go to missoula.toastmastersclub.org to find out locations and more about them. Yeah, you learn to speak good, not like Scott, me, yeah. that I cannot no, speak <laughs> no well most of the time. Um, <laughs> we've got a couple of uh, children's, uh, we've got a couple of classes geared toward that are for parents about children. So this first one is called Power Struggles. It's at 6 p.m. Sponsored by the Children's Museum of Missoula, but it's located at Franklin Elementary School. And so this class explores why children engage in frustrating behaviors um, and, and introduces some effective ways of responding while not engaging in a power struggle. Uh, you can have individual requests for early childhood training forms are available. Child care is free. Call 721-7690 to register. So this is tomorrow, so you guys will still have time to register. And then we have another class, um, and it's called Empowering Ourselves, Empowering Our Children. It starts at 6 p.m. This is at the Lifelong Learning Center. Um, and so it's pretty much just about effective parenting solutions and how to be a positive parent and not engage in a power struggle as well. The only thing with this is that no child care is provided for this one. So you can call 549-8765 to register or go to missoulaclasses.com. Yep. You can either be a leader by force or a leader by example. Yep. Very true. Nice one, Scott. Um, <laughs> over at the Good Food Store, they've got a Good Food Store Cookbook Club. So they're going to be cooking from Heidi Swanson's Near and Far. They're going to be making grated cucumber salad with oregano, olives, and almonds. That is a recipe from Morocco. Carrot and sake salad with sweet lemon dressing, recipe from Japan. Uh, Vagarelli makai or corn cilantro and peanut medley, that is from Ooh. India. Uh, fennel stew with saffron and white beans, um, and that is from San Francisco. And a sabion with satarines from France. Hmm. Don't know if I said that right, but call 541 Food Extension 208 to register for these. Um, and we just have a couple more events. So over at the University of Montana, uh, the university, the J School, is putting on a Marjorie Nichols lecture with journalist Colette Darrowiz. Uh, her talk is titled Canada's Changing Climate. She's a senior staff reporter for the Calgary Herald, and she reports on a lot of uh, climate change and environmental things and things going on with animals in Canada. So yeah, she'll cover all that and talk to you guys about covering climate change and all these different things. Uh, free and open to the public starts at 7. Uh, also at 7, over at Shakespeare and Company, they've got the No Apology Writers. So this is a group of writers that uh, have no apologies and really don't care. And they read from their original works of poetry and creative nonfiction. And then I've got some music for you guys. 
Uh, Dusk is at the Sunrise Saloon at 8. That's country. Uh, we got an open mic at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30. Open mic at the Broadway at 9. Dead Hipster at the Badlander at 9. Rock and Karaoke at the Dark Horse at 9. We've got a homegrown comedy at the Union uh, at 9.30. And then the Brothers Comatose are playing the Top Hat Lounge at 10. Yep. That's what's going on in your community. Check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, um, <laughs> The Independent, and our newspaper for more events happening in your local area. But of course, um, we do have some new programs happening tonight on MCAT. So when we come back, we'll do Hallmark or Bullmark. But right now, we'll see. Well, here's a little tease of what you guys can expect tonight on MCAT Channel 189. Healthcare has grown and grown and grown and grown and grown at rates much, much faster than the rest of the economy, such that in most places in the United States, healthcare is the largest industry as measured by employment or payroll or output. Um, that's true here in Montana. And you know, it got that way by growing faster than the rest of the economy. So, you know, as you can see here, the black line, the solid black line, that's healthcare, the dotted line, that's the, the state total. And in almost every year, the past 25 years, healthcare employment has grown by more than the rest of the state employment. What's going to get it back to being the kind of discussion you want to have? And what is it you want people here <coughs> to do when they leave? Um, I, I, um, I want to challenge the premise because I, I think it has languished for a long time. I don't think it's languishing now. I think the conversation is very apt in America now. Uh, I, I, um, looking back over the last couple of years, uh, the, uh, the conversation has heated up. I'm, I'm a bit concerned about the direction of it a, a little bit. I, I'll, I'll come to that. But. Sorry about that. Welcome we're back. We were just chat. we were just talking about the school of journalism because we're both we both went there and we were just dishing about it. But then of course the video just kind of rolled. Over. <laughs> but without further ado, we have one of our favorite segments of all time. <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Sorry, that was, I'm like going into my Batman voice. I have like I have my Christian Bale Batman voice, and then I have my own version of Batman voice that I'll never reveal because I. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, without further ado, here is Hallmark or. Bull mark. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yes. <laughs> Hit it, Asaph. <laughs> Mina has everything going for her. A boyfriend who has planned out their lives and a great job. That's, that's crucial. Yeah. <laughs> but her world is turned upside down when work sends her to her hometown in Tanasai, when where she must convince an old, stubborn restaurant owner to sell his property. There's only one problem. The restaurant is now owned by her ex-boyfriend, Clay. Oh, of course. Who claims he will never sell, especially to her. Because, <laughs> <who knows? laughs> he resists her negotiations every step of the way. And all the while, sparks fly. <laughs> and this is called Appetite for Love. <laughs> and if you guys don't know how this works, I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I? And you guys have to determine if it's a real movie or it's complete hogwash, otherwise known as Bullmark. This game is called Hallmark or Bullmark, so you guys at home can play it. So. Well, I just love how <laughs> all these Hallmark movies are always going to their old towns. They're always going to their hometown yeah. where they're lame old Or they friend. go to the big city. Yeah, or they go to the big city where it, they always it, meet their ex-boyfriend. It's always about, it's, it's class. It's like blending the classes. Yeah. Or class warfare. And then eventually find in love. I'm going to say Hallmark because this sounds like a classic Hallmark movie. Huh? What about you, Asaph? Yeah, I'm, an, I'm going to agree. Yeah. yeah. Asaph is always right. Okay, what is it? You guys are right. It Yay! is a Hallmark Woo! original movie. You see, they're always going to their old towns. They're always yep. seeing the, their stubborn ex-boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> always trying to get something from their ex-boyfriends accidentally. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that, that always seems to happen, is that yeah. once you're out Come of a relationship, on, you still have the, the girls still ask something from you. Yeah. <laughs> they always want something from you, even if you're not dating. As, and they just call to complain about their current boyfriend. It's like, <laughs> oh, I wish they're more like you. It's just like... Thanks. What? This is awful. Why are you calling me? Don't call me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, less okay. about my own personal um, stuff, and let's talk more about Bo Hallmark or Bullmark. Here's the next one. Hit it, ASAP. <laughs> uh, Laura is very meticulous when it comes to her wedding, but the whole fiancé part. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's been planning her big day since she was a little girl and saved the date 30 years after her parents' wedding. She wanted to catch the same lightning her parents had. 
as her clock keeps counting down to her big day. Can Laura get herself a man in time for her, her big day? <laughs> and the movie's called Laura's Big Day. <laughs> is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete Bullmark? Man, this girl, she is cr- number one, crazy. <laughs> number two, why do you have it to It wouldn't be married? the first time. I know, number three, come on, <laughs> what? It sounds like a Katherine Heigl movie. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's very oh, meticulous man. coming to her wedding, but about the whole fiance part. She doesn't even have a man to marry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to say Bullmark. You're going to say Bullmark? I'm, I'm going to agree with yeah, that. Yeah, I think that you had a lot of fun with this. All right, all right, okay. Um, well, you guys, today you were right. Yeah! Two for two. Two for two, I said. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do you actually believe the second one could be a Hallmark original? It movie? literally could be a Hallmark original movie. Like that's so outrageous that she's <laughs> she's like all ready for her wedding, but she doesn't have anyone to marry. <laughs> what a crazy girl! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, what, what, what do you expect? You know, like Hallmark definitely uh, uh, appeads to the you know happy-go-lucky life that life is not yeah. in Hallmark original movies. <laughs> you know, we can live in denial all you want, but you know, there's ups and downs, and you, you, you it's it's hard to fall in love with someone you hate. Yeah. And that's what Hallmark teaches you is that you know you can be in love with the person that you hate because it's the passion. There's, there's, the, people always say that there's a thin line between love and hate, but there's not. It's a pretty thick line. If you hate someone, you hate someone. It's done. I don't know, man. Right now, I'm experiencing being love, being in love, and hating someone all at the same time, oh. and it's really hard. I've, gosh, I wish there was a book I could read about this stuff. There's a whole bunch of experts that say this or that and this and that. Or you can just watch a Hallmark original movie. Yeah, I think I'll just watch a Hallmark original movie. I get all of my dating advice off of that. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather watch Julia Child. Yeah, I'd rather watch with those knives. <laughs> I get dating uh, advice from Hallmark and then knife advice from Julia Child. Uh, she was in the war. She was in the war. But of course, you can find out more information about Wake Up Missoula by logging on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we may just spell it out twice. You can like us on our Facebook page, Wake Up Missoula. You could follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook and to find out more information about us, check us out at MCAT.org. Yep. And a week from today at 5.30 is our orientation. So you can check that out. Um, you can call us at 542-6228 to be on our show or you can email us um, uh, MCAT at MCAT.org to appear on our morning show to talk about your upcoming events, causes, concerts, and beyond that are all happening here in Missoula and Missoula County. I have to separate those two because yeah. they're like two different people. I know, they really they are. They really are. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. But you guys, thanks for being sticking with us these past two years. And yeah. uh, happy anniversary yeah. to Wake Up Missoula. But of course, we'll be celebrating all week. We will, yeah. yeah. You know, so you without, to celebrate too. Yeah. So without further ado, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ram. I'm Noel McFoy. Here's Asaph Adonai. <laughs>